The Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. The Gospel of St. John is the most detailed on the subject of the crucifixion. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers, with a shimmering lance, pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. A shimmering lance? What is this telling me? The medieval hermetic traditions evoked the idea of using noble materials for relics, which the monasteries often made themselves in order to attract pilgrims. Of course, they had to inspire greatness. So here, we might think of gold, whereas a centurion could not have hoped for anything better than copper at the time. The true lance would not have been a luxurious weapon. So it's made of copper, and it's covered in blood. The name of the Roman soldier who killed Christ never appears in the biblical canon. Yet, it is said that he was a centurion and was called Longinus. That was useless. Um. Mail? Why? This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Hmm. Clemens III. Clémentois in French. How come his tomb ended up here and not in the Vatican? This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. Okay, what's the point of that? I can see that this spear has a, a so-called leaf shape, but is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the Eye of Ra. Um. Egg? Now, what's one would say? Shape of a boar spear. the shape of a boar spear. Okay, so a boar spear is kind of pointy, but not that one. Mm, this one has no name. I wonder who it was for. For me. Nothing here.
spears at? Oh, in the ground there. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. I can make out a rising sun engraved on the tip. Take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. No, leaf it is shape. copper rimmed, and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. No. Four spear. Like that. I can see that this lance has. The shape of a boar spear. Yeah. The blade is partially coated in copper. Yeah. And I can just make out the symbol of the eye of Ra engraved on the tip. Um. There's no room for error. Am I sure this is the one to take? of Lord Mortimer. Let's see what we can find here. Let's... Four so <laughs> Ha! Great! Now let's see what's inside. Let's... The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Let's see what we can find here. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to it. bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, uh, oh, it's far too oh heavy. Oh my god. I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. Serious. Bugged. Isn't there, I thought there was one something on the floor here. Oh. No. I just show it open. There's sarcophagus of Lord closed. Mortimer. Yeah, shut up. Let's see what we can find here. One more time. No, Matt. Sorry. Ha! Great. Now let's see what's inside. Won't cost anything because I already did it. There's. What the hell was the point? The sarcophagus of oh Lord Mortimer. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. Yeah, what yeah, ancestor yeah. can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. Yeah. What ancestor can it be? Oh my god. There's no inscription. Stop it. Stop it. Leave. Whatever. Let's 
so... Are there no other... This one? I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Um. one with the uh, the sun on it I can see this lance has a spear shape it is copper rimmed and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip there doesn't seem to be any blood on it I think it's gonna be the other one one? No. What was it? Oh my god. Oh. You're next to it? I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the eye of Ra engraved on the tip. I'm taking this one. There's no room for error. Am I sure this is the one to take? No, I'm not. door yeah what if I cut out all the running in this game there's not gonna be any thing to show uh oh uh, I've not found all the clues enabling me to identify the land side did not find all the copies of the land so long as kept by word um, okay. I've chosen the Lance of Long in this. Wait, so I picked the right one? I convinced Cardinal Pion to help me explore the crypt of the Mornwars. Four points. Um... Putting all the points into one thing just seems wasteful. 